Welcome back. Today's video is going to be on blocking your piston. In today's video, to demonstrate that, we're going to change the sprocket on a Husqvarna 51. So to block that piston, we first need to remove that plug so we can get access to the cylinder. So we're going to take the cover off removing the screws. Then we're going to remove that spark plug boot and remove that spark plug, turning it counterclockwise to the left. Take your piece of starter rope and just double it back. We're going to stick that loop into that piston hole. Being careful not to go so far that it comes out the exhaust port and gets pinched. You'll just kind of wiggle that clutch. You'll feel it when it catches. Once you have your rope in and your piston block, depending on what style as to what tool you'll need to take that clutch off. This particular unit takes a 15 millimeter wrench. Remember the threads on these are reversed. So you're gonna go clockwise to remove the, the sprocket. And you may want to use a socket. And then finish spinning that off. We'll remove our hub. Make sure to leave that washer. Bearing looks good. So this is a rim style sprocket. Replace that. It's got quite a bit of wear in it. Sprocket we're gonna replace that with today is the same sprocket basically. It's a 3 8 7 2. I purchased that from Stens, part number 08500097. That fits as Husqvarna 51. I'll post a link to that part down in the description. You'll just slide that new sprocket on the drum. With these bearings, just visually inspect it, make sure everything's turning good, clean that bearing and then put some fresh grease on it, very little grease. I've cleaned that bearing with some gas, put a little bit of grease on it, very little grease. If you put too much, it flings out and will make your clutch slip. Now, if you have a rim sprocket like this unit and you're gonna be reusing the old hub, grease and things like that in that piece will make it slip. So while you got that off, just take your rag and a little bit of gas, Wipe that out good and make sure and get all that grease out of it. That way it's a good clean surface that you're starting with where that clutch can really, really stick and bite. Put this one back on with the sprocket facing the unit. Put our clutch back on with your nut facing out so that you can get your wrench on it. That's how you know for sure it's right on this model. And tighten it down. Something I like to do when I change a clutch like that is either rev it up with the breaker and put the brake on or put it in a piece of wood immediately and cut with it. That allows this clutch to tighten down. You don't want to just put it finger tight and get out there and go to hammering on it. It will spin loose and tear some stuff up. Now we'll remove our rope, reinstall our spark plug, turn it clockwise. Snug it down good. And all we got left to do is tighten our top down. And that's how I do it. I use a piece of rope, never busted a piston with a piece of rope. I've seen pistons busted and cracked, even with the aluminum head piston block. So don't use that. I hope this has helped you. Maybe you can now feel a little more confident about doing your own. Thank you for joining me.